A magnitude 5 earthquake has shaken the southwest region of Victoria this morning, with a significant number of residents experiencing the tremor in the early hours. The earthquake's epicenter was pinpointed near Colac, approximately 150 kilometers from Melbourne, and it had a depth of 7 kilometers. The actual fault line responsible for this is related to the continent-to-continent -to -continent collision that Victoria experienced 430 million years ago when the ancient microcontinent that hosts Tasmania, known as Van Dyland, crashed into Western Victoria. I've just released a very in-depth documentary compilation this morning that combines several episodes that all touch on why the Melbourne region is experiencing earthquakes, and spoiler alert, I speculate that the Melbourne region is being ripped away from Victoria due to the tectonic collisions that New Zealand is undergoing. The region that hosts Melbourne has been undergoing a marked rifting event for the past 60 million years. It ramped up 30 million years ago though, and this timing overlaps with New Zealand's beginning to experience a continent-to-continent -continent collision. Before this, it was only undergoing subduction events. The transference of energy beneath the Tasman Sea, all the way to Australia, is directly related to the earthquakes we are experiencing here, and we have New Zealand to thank for that. It may seem like New Zealand is too far from Australia to impact it significantly, but that simply isn't true. The entire Earth is linked, and these collisions, grand in scale, echo this truth further. All of the recent earthquakes have occurred in fault lines associated with the continent-to-continent -continent collision that I mentioned before, and they have travelled from east to west in the past three years. The last video I made, which delved into the earthquakes Victoria is experiencing, touched on the quake that occurred at a fault line near Sunbury. And now, this one has happened at the very limits of the fault near Colac. Like dominoes, the transference of energy has slowly moved west in the past two years, beginning in 2021 when the Mansfield earthquake shook Victoria. A tiny aftershock occurred a few hours after the main earthquake this morning, and it was located at Apollo Bay. I suspect it was the Skeens Creek fault that slipped. As for the actual magnitude 5, that was probably related to the major Durangamede fault line, which is the border between ancient Victoria to the west, and the even more ancient microcontinent of Van Dyland to the east. Earthquakes are part of the land here, and they're something we need to get used to, as the tectonic engine driving the collisions in New Zealand isn't slowing down anytime soon. Thanks for watching.